Hey guys, it's Bang for about PC Gaming here, and I've finally got my EVGA NVIDIA GTX 1080 Founders Edition. Now, it was a bit crazy trying to get this card because they literally sold out within minutes in the UK. Um, uh, cards went online at 1400, so that was like 2 pm in the UK. Um, I pretty much started my checkout process at uh, 1358 and finished at uh, 14.03 and by the time I got out my checkout all of the cards were out of stock so uh, crazy stuff um, so yeah I've got the EVGA version which I was lucky enough to get because um, these went out of stock the quickest um, just a founders edition no overclock and just a reference call I'm just going to quickly walk you around the box nothing special about the box really EVGA do have Probably the, the most boring box I've seen out of all the graphics cards I've ever purchased. I'm still running my GTX 980 Ti, so we'll be doing uh, head to head um, in benchmarks and um, games in a few moments. Okay, opening the box, you get quite a few things with the actual graphics card itself. You get a few stickers, um, obviously, the user manual, the quick setup guide. Um, you get a 2, 6 to 8 pin PCI Express connector. You get a EVGA quick startup guide as well. And you also get this massive um, poster which I've just quickly hung up there. I don't plan on keeping it there called... Well, it says arm yourself with EVGA and it's got this kind of knight with a flaming um, sword. So that's kind of cool if you're into that. Um, personally, I won't be having this on my wall. And I will see the card itself, so I'm going to quickly get this out and uh, show it to you in all its glory. Obviously a very, very good looking card. Um, always has that really, really nice new card smell as well. Really, really well packaged by EVGA, so definitely no damage or scuff marks. And as you can see, full black plate, which is nice to see. They did have this on the original GTX 980, but for some reason it wasn't missing on the GTX 980 Ti as well as the Titan X. Um, but I'm glad to see they've returned it, so it's quite a nice finish. It's not always good to look at the rear naked PCB, so quickly flip the card over to the top and then I'll give you guys a preview to what I've got coming later on today. So looking at the top, you still have that single A pin, which I'm still trying to get used to. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing, as you can see. Very, very good looking card and I can't wait to test it out. Thank you. 